Uh, we're trying a new thing on this one where I don't check the levels before. Uh, Is it even recording? Yeah, it's recording now. So this episode started. <laughs> Can't you see like the volume? Yeah, Isn't there like a, a readout? I on get those? a general idea of where it's at. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. How was uh, that? Yeah, yeah, you're screaming. Ah! Ah! There we go. That's good. We got to keep it quiet anyways. We're doing another after late dark. night one. Well, I guess after, <clears throat> not so much after dark, but after work. I'm nude. I, We're I all naked. All day, but, We're all uh, wearing smoking jackets and no pants. Yeah, I did. I did it. The commercial I worked on today, uh, chock full of celebs. Oh yeah, who do Ooh. we got? I I mean I don't I don't even know if they take the NDA seriously, but there is oh, some, yeah, yeah. some pretty fucking big names. <laughs> oh nice. Yeah, it was Travolta. a promo for a movie. So you know, it's like a hairspray three. Yeah, it was hairspray three. <laughs> so it was John Travolta, Ricky Lake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Divine <laughs> Isn't Divine dead? Yeah, she's been dead They, for, they dug her up uh, He's been dead The guy hey, Respect her pronouns I dude. think the pronoun was he Far- Firestein <laughs> Fires- Harvey Firestein Yeah Stone Harvey, Harvey Firestone? Harvey Firestein Is that David. his dad? Oh, David, there's aliens coming <laughs> Yeah That's what I didn't understand about the new Independence Day is they like retconned in a gay couple, but like it was implied that Harvey Firestein was gay in the first one. <laughs> right, I know. Right, they already right. had a gay character. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And then they came out with a new one and they just made Brett Spinner gay. And he's like, uh, well, I think we already talked about it on the was last Was he extra podcast. gay? No, he's actually not gay at all. He just, he's basically just like, I'm gay, by the way. <laughs> They like. Oh, sorry, I was end. just beating off the two boys kissing. Yeah, yeah. No, he wakes up and he's in a co- he was in a coma for like twenty five since the first movie. Okay, and he wakes up and his boyfriend scientist is there and he's like, "Baby, you're awake." And he's like, "Baby, I love you so much." And then they both look at the camera and they're like, "Huh?" Eh? <laughs> Wait, this is uh, Goldblum is gay? Uh, no, Goldblum is not one of the scientists. What, he's a guy. Wasn't that, he a scientist? No, he's just no. Jewish. His character is uh, just a Jewish yeah. person. <laughs> And they're really good at math. So, yeah. uh, So he has science math. No, that movie like uh, actuarial math. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, You know, uh, 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 accountancy. uh, I've no, I've noticed that the uh, 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 there. Well, there is a uh, 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 signal. I wonder yeah. if the script was written that way. Just nine pages of the word. Uh, 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 yeah. Probably. Every Goldblum vehicle has that. Yeah. Uh, did we talk about the Independence I think Day? briefly. I never. Yeah, I never saw it. I didn't see it either. That's why we didn't talk about it. I think it's oh, only it's, you saw it. It's atrocious. Yeah, it's it like looked really like dog shit. No, it didn't, dude. The trailer looked cool. I was excited about it, but it's really not a good movie. When I when it came and went and I didn't hear anybody talking about it, I was like crushed. <laughs> that was the one summer movie I was excited about. Yeah, yeah. 2016 was the worst movie year ever, right? Is Probably, what yeah. Say. There was no good summer blockbuster. Art is pretty much dead. Yeah. I mean, and it's never going to be. Remakes, it's never no. going to fucking get better. Ghostbusters was really. I mean, good. I didn't think. I thought like people were like, "Oh, well, Trump's going to be good for comedy," and I, I didn't believe that. And then immediately, he's already bad for. Immediately, comedy. they proved that it's not. It's fucking awful for oh, comedy. Yeah. Yeah, they had what's her name crying and playing piano. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. sucked, man. We're that's in just, a golden age of comedy. You know what folks. I like to believe is that that's they not funny. They, 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 they had already planned laughs. to do that. They had planned to do that, and then they had to get like permission from Leonard Cohen. And then he was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" He's dead. And then he had a heart attack. Oh. And, died. <laughs> and then yeah. killed him. <laughs> Sorry, it was a, a bit. shitty idea. <laughs> That's another bit that I've read. I didn't watch the Chappelle monologue either, but I'm it like, was not good. Everyone I, said I, I it was really good. haven't seen Man, it. Man, no. honestly, like you know, I love Dave Chappelle, but the la- any time I've seen him since he quit, he's just been okay. Yep. You know, I mean, and there's funny moments here and there, but it's everyone pretending like it's, you know, Chappelle like he was fucking 20 years no, ago. No, it's not. No one, no one, no one in comedy is ever that good. George Carlin is the only guy that did it, and it's because he had to, otherwise he was going to go to prison. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. What are you... He owed like like millions of dollars to the IRS. <laughs> I'm, you're laughing, that's but, so good. Yeah, you're laughing, but it's true. Like he he owed all his money to the IRS, and he like couldn't pay. I so hate he to had say, to, sorry. He had to he had to like write more specials. So everything from like 1974 on was uh-huh. just so he could pay back taxes. Bill Cosby, <laughs> I hate to say it, he's monster, but pretty good into old age. I- he I stopped standing more, but yeah. Not, I mean, like pretty cons- for a ninety-seven-year-old man. Like I guess this, uh, I hate. I mean, he's probably like better at stand-up than he is entering and exiting a vehicle. 
<laughs> yeah, I know. yeah. Um, yeah. I watched SNL live this weekend, which I never do. Oh, nice man. But uh, where? At my apartment. Cool. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, Dave. Like, I preface by saying he's my favorite comic ever, probably, especially like growing up. Yeah. But uh, I just did. I didn't see it. I just that whole shit sucks so hard. I'm sick of people telling me to give Donald Trump a chance. I'm not. I don't need also, like a like, rich person to tell. I don't that, need like a million Oprah to fucking tell me. Oh yeah, gee, calm down. Give Donald Trump, Trump a chance. I know, dude. Look at his fucking Fuck cabinet. That shit is so good. <laughs> just fucking Newt Gingrich is in, Ron is in the mix. <laughs> yeah, and then fucking uh, the guy from Breitbart is just works in the White House now. That's so good, dude. Yeah, I mean, I don't honestly. We right, we already did a politics episode. You're we right. don't need to do that. No, I was I was. Re- I was Fucking uh, chamber loaded, ready to go on Independence Day. I got nothing. And you on derailed it completely. Day. Do you have anything else for it? Did we? Oh yeah, it's. I wish you had seen it. It's terrible. <laughs> you a- didn't tell us, Amber. We did I talk about it? it on your podcast? The Independence Day movie. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I, that's that's which one it was. Okay. So okay. yeah. I, yeah sorry. Guys, I'm podcast rich now. I don't. <laughs> I've done too many podcasts. I can't remember what I said. I'm gonna get like Alzheimer's at like 36 <laughs> from, from recording every conversation I've ever had. <laughs> Where am I? We should just stop talking. Not recorded. We should just have the fucking. That's just what I was always. Saying, yeah, that was actually me and Adam's year. original idea for a podcast. We were gonna do like the uh, the Nixon tapes podcast, uh-huh. <laughs> and it, we were gonna be Nixon and Kissinger having conversations. That's and then we bring a guest on for five minutes and then talk shit about them for being like, <laughs> you know, a crypto Jew or whatever <laughs> after they left. The Jew is not a trustworthy individual. <laughs> the Jew is a natural spy. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. I love that shit. I also love Johnson's where he's talking about just finger fucking yeah. on some other on the other recordings. It's so good, dude. Yeah. Lindsay How did they think that was gonna be a good Yeah, yeah. Is he on the Nixon tapes? No, but he he's on the did Johnson that tapes first. He he had he a conversation with, yeah, yeah, yeah. with Billy Bush Sr. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Billy Bush yeah, Sr. The other him, Bush buddy. dynasty. Yeah. The, the cousins of the political Bushes were entertainment Bushes. <laughs> <laughs> and they went back. You know. It was awesome. He said nylons ruined finger fucking. <laughs> LBJ like, did? Yeah, LBJ. He's the man. My man was just fucking. That's finger popping. But Nick, how about that Independence Day movie? <laughs> <laughs> now, there's a lot of bad shit going on in that movie. It opens up and uh, <laughs> Hillary Clinton is, it's not Hillary, but it's basically Hillary Clinton. President right. Hillary gives President a bitch. <laughs> yeah. And. Sorry. Yeah. That really <laughs> did <wet. laughs> so, Whoa, dude. Uh, space Hillary's giving a speech and she's like, as you all know, there's been no wars since the aliens left. And it's like. You, you would never say that in the context. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Like, nobody's fucking, nobody talks like that. Uh-huh. And she's like, there's been no war, you know, it's all this like, bullshit exposition to catch you up, you know, on what the starting point for the movie is, but it's like, that's where the last one left off. You can just assume that there hasn't been right, right. some war, unless you wrote it into this, you know, your perfect world scenario. Uh-huh. And, uh, it's like there's been no war since the we beat the aliens and we've used their technology to help. Uh, now that's why we have like space flight or something right. now. And uh, anyhow, just you know, happy Happy Fourth of July, America. <laughs> that's where the movie's starting. <laughs> and then it cuts to her in the office, and she's like, "Great speech, Elizabeth." And she had been reading <laughs> over it, and it's like it's a terrible speech. <laughs> We're just using it to get to. You know the beginning of the movie. Sure. So why even say great speech? Just have her just <laughs> look over and be like, oh, okay. And then it cuts to the hallway outside, and there's a picture. Or there's like a poster hanging on the wall mm-hmm. uh, outside the Oval Office. There's like a, right. for whatever reason, just jammed into the corner. Yeah. A picture of Will Smith, and it looks like just a still from the first movie. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like they just stripped all the text off the first movie. Wait, he's not in it though, right? No, no I had you see a black squad. guy come into the shot, and you only see the back of his head, and you're like, "There's Will Smith," and then it shows the the front of his, head, and it's not Will Smith, you know. Mm-hmm. And it's like, and then the president, uh, Madam President, greets that guy, and she's like, "Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Sorry, your dad's dead, by the way, and he couldn't be here." <laughs> so, so sorry your dad who had to do suicide squad and he yeah, couldn't yeah, be yeah, here yeah, right. <laughs> yeah basically uh it's ju- it's just 
so poorly done the That's entire awesome. movie. Yeah. Hell yes, dude. And then now you know, and then it. the whole idea is like there's been no war or whatever, but then they have to go to like meet with these African warlords to carry swords and Jeff Goldblum's <laughs> all like scared when he meets them. And it's like you just said there's been no war. Why would he be afraid of these people? Um, to what happens? The aliens come back and fuck shit up. Uh, the aliens come back and they defeat them by doing literally the exact same thing. They did in the first <laughs> so it's basically like Star Wars, where yeah, they like, have like an alien. Fucking... They have a, a secret alien ship, and then they have to go inside the mothership. They have to shoot a really small there's a, hole. Now there's like two motherships or something. <laughs> I think they like they learned. I don't know. I mean, it was the same thing with Force Awakens. How Force Awakens fucking sucked. Yeah. And yeah. uh, everyone's like, oh, that was good. It's like, no, it just wasn't as bad as the fucking the, prequels. The first three. Yeah. Yeah. And so. Well, it's just the same movie. It was movie. the same plot. I mean, yeah. there was some cool shit. I in guess it. that's what they're doing with the. Uh, with Day. Independence Day, they're like, yeah, let's just make the same exact movie, not not go crazy with it, mm-hmm. bring everyone back that we can, except uh, the one guy that made the movie a blockbuster hit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, fuck, dude. I watched... I was sick all day today. I watched a dog awful, really bad movie. Dog off, God awful? Dog awful sucks. Dog are you not, are you not blaspheming anymore? <laughs> yeah. You were watching... Uh, That's how, like, fat lady third grade teachers say god awful. They say dog, dog awful. awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, like a fat lady with a... Gods of Egypt? Did you guys Oh, that? hell yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's all white people. <laughs> it's all white people with British accents, and the gods are Transformers, basically. They hell turned yes. into, like, uh, flying Transformers. That sounds yeah. tight. I want to make a movie Gerard called... Butler. I, wanna, I, I wanted to watch the worst possible movie. I want to make a movie day. called yeah, 13 great. Years a Slave, and it's about an Irish guy that comes oh. to America. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> it was worse. Yeah, he moves to Boston. Yeah, yeah. the Irish, Irish were slaves, too. Yeah, yeah. But my for favorite, 13 years. So my favorite is Greek people are like yeah the greeks were slaves because like the ottoman empire yeah just took over greece like that's not the same fucking thing as slavery they were just like yeah. some fucking fat turkish guy yeah I, I'm pretty, from what i understand from what i've seen in movies and film like the roman roman term slave just means girlfriend <laughs> <laughs> like exotic a girlfriend that speaks kind of broken english yeah, yeah. that you met while you were away at war <laughs> That's what slave means. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a, uh, Thomas Jefferson had that interpretation of the word as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. My man was smanging. My, my man... My, my man head. was it's so committing funny. Like, rape, anytime, yo. Anytime you meet... <laughs> Hell a- yeah, yo, TJ. <laughs> get in them fucking guts, yo. Them's your slaves, yo. Anyway. He's such, a, he's such a good writer, dude. He wrote a really sick constitution for us. Yeah. I mean, anytime I meet a black person with the last name Jefferson, I'm like, maybe. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Wasn't it Fields? Hemmings, I thought. Hemmings? Sally Hemmings. Oh, oh. Sally Fields. Not <laughs> Sammy <laughs> Fields. Sally, Sally Fields. <laughs> Stanley Fields. Sally Hemmings. Sally Hemmings. Sally Hemmings. Yeah, his slave. <clears throat> that's so. Yeah, everybody got up in them guts. Last name Hemmings is uh, descended from American royalty. That's right. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. I never meet any black people with my last name, which Mullen? makes me feel good. It's yeah. Irish. Yeah. Marlon. Yeah. yeah oh, shusha, a, shusha, shusha. It's not how we talk. <laughs> hey, my name is Nick Merlin. I've never had <laughs> sex. I've never had sex. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had sex before. I, speaking <laughs> of <laughs> Irish, <laughs> I, 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 I watched the I MMA. I love sex with men. <laughs> 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 I love haggis and sex with men. <laughs> that's probably Scottish, but. Yeah, that's the same whatever, shit. Whatever, man. That shit I watched sucks. the MMA thing this weekend. Oh, though. yeah, Connor. That dude is sick. He's awesome. Yeah, he's going to be a movie star. And he just talks shit all the time. Yeah, he's like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fucking pissed and off. And he was right trolling. Yeah. He was like, I'd like to say, for, I'd like to apologize to absolutely nobody. <laughs> <laughs> fuck off. The <laughs> champ does whatever the fuck he wants. Why is yeah. he going to be a movie star? Because he's got. He's gonna Loads be. He's charisma. gonna be a wrestler. He's he cut. legitimately will be a wrestler. He can beat people up. He can do action stuff. I he's think got he should get a, a combat background. <laughs> I think he should cabinet level appointment. <laughs> yeah. Too bad he's not a fucking citizen. I'm, you know, I'm really you don't have to be a citizen to be a cabinet, do you? No, you don't. You don't have you to, have be, to a be, citizen be born to be here. President. We learned that <laughs> yeah. over the last eight years. <laughs> I found this that's guy. So I was true. like arguing with this guy online. I keep telling these like conservative groups that Obama yeah, that's, is Algerian and he's he's bringing Sharia law, law to the United Trump States. Is. And I that found this guy's phone number. Beautiful trolling, by the way. Yeah, I want to call him. 
Yeah, you're trolling and, for the good guys now. No, no he's just doing no the best trolling troll. For, yeah. He's a chaotic force, dude. There's, there's no, no trolling for anything. Well, that's what trolling's yeah. supposed to be. <laughs> he's a troll purist, dude. Uh, that's, <laughs> I mean, I, no, it's, it's like, I, you know, I think like uh, the alt right's probably going to lose a lot of numbers now that like Trump is actually in office. Because right. It, the people that are just there to be trolls, they can't. You yeah. know, it they can't the just winning go team. With, yeah, 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 right. It, you know, they have to fuck with people. So if their ideas are ever popular, yeah, but there's still journalists and stuff they can call Jews and stuff like that. Right? That's true. Yeah, that is true. There is some important work they, still to be done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they still need to take get rid of. The well, there's going to be glaciers. there's going to be a, a, a holocaust of American Jews, and APAC's going to pay for it. <laughs> Dude, do you hear? Yeah, we're well. gonna make them pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna make Israel pay. Israel's for it. gonna pay for the Holocaust. <laughs> that makes sense, dude. Yo, I hope we got a fucking wall, though, yo. Yeah, there's already too many fucking burritos over Look here. How nervous Adam is. Dude, don't worry. We'll hide you. We'll hide dude, you, dude. I'm wearing the. Star. Look at my. We're room. gonna have to break your. Look at my room. Nose. Look how good I'm at good at it making cubbies. <laughs> that would be. <laughs> I'm gonna put a bookshelf. You'll have your own little. Yeah, it'll be like a five. Like a yeah, maybe five little abacus. Yeah. A little five. You know, a wall. You Could have you... to have a daughter named Masha. Who keeps trying to learn English <laughs> from the humans. From the humans. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. The humans are our friends. Masha, you must not trust them. <laughs> they are my friends. <laughs> they are not your friends, Masha. <laughs> they are teaching me how to read. <laughs> but Five will just talk normal, right? Yeah. I love that shit. Um, well, Five will was uh, written by Saul Bellow, right? Was it? Uh, yeah. When I was a, <laughs> when I was a kid... <laughs> When I was a kid, people told told me it was Jewish, so I liked it. Oh, basically every well, cartoon was rat Jewish. is Jewish. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese, uh, Radigan, uh huh, Mickey Red Mouse, Tissouri, the, ma the yeah. cook. Um, who's the other? One? Mickey Stuart Mouse. Little? Uh, that Stuart Little's a Jew. The the uh, Mickey the Mouse rat is not Fink Jewish. From uh, the anti semite the Ed Roth uh, cartoon. From what? It's like, uh, like, uh, you know, the, those Ed Roth cartoons. So it's like, oh yeah, yeah those drag racing cart, yeah, those hot rod cartoons. Those anyway, aren't Jews. They're they're too cool to. Well, be the Jews. mouse, the rat is. Mm. Oh, cool. We're going through now. I'm just naming cartoon rats that I can think <laughs> of. Is that an exhaustive list of cartoon rats? Who else do we got? Were there any rats in in? What about Tom? Tom's a mouse from or, yeah or Jerry, I guess is. The, is the mouse? <laughs> no, Tom's the mouse. Jerry's the cat. No, Jerry's the mouse. <laughs> Jerry's the mouse. Tom's the Tom cat. Jerry. Tom is the cat. Yeah, Tom Jerry's cat, a Jewish dude. name. Yeah, Jerry, Jerry. Jerry's definitely Jerry a, a Heller. Jew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> N.W.A. Jerry, <laughs> Jerry Steinstein. <laughs> uh, what other fucking mouse Mises are there? And was there was there mice in Garfield? Yeah, Gar. Uh, the no, the lasagna wait. was all mouse lasagna. Yeah. Uh, John. John, John, Ar Jew. John, yeah, John's Jewish, for sure. Yeah, no, I mean that's really there's a a, a Garfield where Garfield uh, John puts the menorah out and he's like Garfield, don't eat my menorah, <laughs> and then Garfield eats the menorah. <laughs> <laughs> How did he come up with this fucking stuff, man? <laughs> yeah, every time I read Garfield, I'm like, is he gonna eat that fucking lasagna? What's gonna yet? happen here? Yeah, you better not eat that fucking lasagna. That's a yeah. hungry cat. <laughs> Yo, I love that fucking cat. You know, it makes me want to get a cat, and then I see the real ones, and it's like, nah, they're gay. <laughs> they're too soft. Excuse me. <laughs> they don't sell those like that. Sir, can you please leave <laughs> Petco? You're scaring the animals. Yeah, let me get a fucking cat, yo. Make it talk and eat fucking Italian food, yo. Why did we open a Petco in Dundalk? <laughs> He's just holding out slight yeah, meatballs. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. We had to send all the parrots back to headquarters because they learned the N-word. <laughs> <laughs> Push monkey <laughs> Get away from my sister <laughs> oh, uh, That's a fun bit oh, I love Dundalk baby Yeah we were in, We stopped in Baltimore We were in uh, D.C. this weekend Yeah Big Hunt did a little road trip We did, we did a sample of the Soon to be Adam free episodes Yeah once we hit 5k Yeah Adam's guys. gone to be replaced With a rotating cast of Jews Oh yeah. guys It's not Dude, okay. it's not a, you know, I'm what? trans. I mean, we had we had a great I'm episode trans. without you. You fucked me. Yeah. Uh, that already happened. I have How a mental disability. I'm brain damaged. What do you mean <laughs> you're brain molested. damaged? 
Yeah. You know, we got a whole... We got the... You were molested on the last episode? I was molested on the last episode. Yep. We got into it. Well, that's why you need me here. No, dude. He's better off for it. Yeah. He's Uh, stronger now. Yeah. Well, you know, we have one episode without you. You come back, you're sick. You're getting germs all over the microphone. I'm not sick because (laughs) I wasn't on the podcast. You know, maybe you are. I'm sick because of the Trump administration. (laughs) (laughs) And it makes me goddamn sick to (laughs) my stomach. Is this Dickfield? (laughs) No. Uh, You were doing the Dickfield voice. That's just me when I'm not around you guys. (laughs) (laughs) That's him at home. That's what every Jewish person... Gentile it up around you guys. Try that's to, Hebrew. That's him that's speaking Hebrew. A cup to your wall. Try to sound trying to si- perfect the voice. <laughs> oh yeah, but. yeah. His uh, people have been sending me his statuses the last week. Yeah, you sent me one of those. Oh, gold. they're so good. You know, I, I know. I said that I, no more bullying. <laughs> I know. I promised that. Yeah. But you know, who saw this election coming? Who saw this result? And I feel like that's a message from America that. It's time to bully again. I think so, dude. You know? Bullying one. It's yeah. Alpha Males one, dude. This is an Alpha Male podcast again. Well, I think it's like because people were too afraid to bully people that suck, that's how that's how Donald mm-hmm. Trump won. It's true. Mm-hmm. We were too nice. Yeah. So in the spirit of whatever loose point I can piece together. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when, yep, uh, I agree when, 100%. I'm playing up Seth again. It's time to do when that. Seth goes high. We go low. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he had one. Did you? Did I send you that one? Like, oh, I was in a, in a coffee shop the other day, and I'm explaining to the white barista that this is fascism that we're living under. <laughs> and it's like, you know, what are the other people in line thinking while he's doing this? And it's just, how are you always in a coffee shop getting into arguments also, with people? Also, he's not doing that. <laughs> he's not. He thought about he doing that. it. Uh, last, <laughs> last month, I spent $47,000 on croissants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. What is this? Oh, yeah, man. take a shot, bitch. I have a cold. Too, <clears throat> Just do it. Just take the medicine. Okay, take, take the medicine. Take it, dude. Ah, uh, dude, them's were they, yo, those were roofies. Yeah, we're about to fuck you in the ass, yo. Oh, yeah. It's got a little menthol finish on it. Hell yeah, dude. Smooth going in. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I wish I could drink. <laughs> you just I'm, saw him do a shot of cold medicine Oh yeah Anytime I get the flu I become like addicted to NyQuil For like three and a half weeks After the flu's <laughs> over I'm like yeah I, I still need it Did you ever uh, trip on DXM Robo trip? So Never. many times Never. Yeah Really? I probably it's, have holes in my fucking brain It's, so, of, it's such a stupid way to get high I, yeah. I literally used to go I've done it <laughs> I literally used to eat like a box of Corseed Every single day after work And What's just cor- fucking trip Corseed and cough and cold Oh really? Yeah and Jesus that's fucks Christ. You up. What does it do? <laughs> yeah, for like a month and a half long period. Are these I, the pizza shop days? Uh, yeah, actually. You yeah. can't move. You like. Yeah, you, you just. It's you're like, like it's like ketamine. Yeah. Do you get a hangover? It's the next day? Should I do it right sure. now? Uh, it's no. I would never do it. The last time I did it, I threw up. I mean, I like forced myself to throw up because I started tripping, and I'm like, why am I fucking doing this? <laughs> Jesus, I did it once in college, and it was it was enough. I was just like. I don't think my penis is ever going to come back. I think it's done. <laughs> Where was yeah, it? Yeah, you just look at my your face dorm. in the mirror and it just doesn't make sense. It's oh, like nothing no. makes sense. My For some cool. reason, I felt like my I had the smallest penis in the world. <laughs> for some reason, I just... So the thing about the drug clearly, is, it, yeah, yeah. It, it makes everything true. You see true, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You understand things as they really are. <laughs> Dude, thank God. Bitch. Thank God I'm wearing these big Beach dicks. Ass. Beach ass muda fucker. Beach ass muda fucker. Adam Friedland is a little dick ass boy who has never had sex. The only way to cure the issue of a, a smaller penis is you must find an albino child. <laughs> <laughs> And then you will use the a knife virgin, a virgin. to remove uh, the ears and eyelids <laughs> of the albino child. <laughs> and when it is uh, screaming, <laughs> only then will you penetrate the child. <laughs> 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 we must have this in Africa. I have never had consensual sex in my life. <laughs> you must never respect a woman. <laughs> if I have, if I know one thing, it is that. 
<laughs> it is always wear sandals and you, never respect I, a woman. The only time I take off my sandals is when I have to rape. <laughs> God damn, I love this character. I literally almost crashed the car. We were yeah, doing that African shit the whole rapist. time. <laughs> Afri- whoa, whoa. We're just African guy. African man, dude. Come on. Yeah. Don't you condemn his way of life. You know what's crazy is that G-Unit is like huge in Africa. Really? Not just 50 as a solo. I mean, he's pretty big there too. Is it just But in- the group, Lloyd Banks, Young Buck. Really? At 50 Cent is like huge in you Africa. You know who's the number one sellout artist in all of Africa? <laughs> Who? Christo- Justin, Justin Christopher Guarini. Cross. <laughs> it's Christopher Cross. They love Yacht Rock. Yeah. <laughs> they love sailing. Well, they all dress like him. <laughs> they have like a silk pink shirt. Size 48 waist. <laughs> billowing khakis and sandals. Chris Cross was actually surprisingly boring dressing. I think he just wore like <laughs> jeans and a t-shirt. But. Yeah? No. Yeah, because he was an artist who... When Salem dropped, everyone's like, this is the next big yacht rock superstar. And then they saw him and he and disappeared. They, they saw a picture of him in like a magazine because it was pre like MTV mm-hmm, or whatever. Mm-hmm, and they were like, mm-hmm. this guy. Yeah, because that album, sucks. the cover is just a flamingo. <laughs> yeah, the, it's awesome. The green thing album. with the flamingo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's the name of that album? Uh, I forget. That's the one with Salem on it. Yeah. But, um, oh, it's got, it's got Ride Like the Wind. So I like the hits. winds on it too. Yeah, it's got Arthur's theme on there too. I think. Arthur's theme was from the movie. The movie, Arthur. but I think it's on that album. I, I don't think it's on the album, but yeah, Jamel put me onto that album. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, then they then it turned out he was he was he looked like a pig, so he could be oh, famous. Really? Yeah. How ugly was he? I've never he's, seen his he's face. Pretty not he's good pretty looking ugly, guy. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Uh, not everybody. There's another cute. guy. Uh, uh, fuck Joe. Uh, Pentigliano? No, I want to say Joe Robinson, but that's not it. <laughs> that's the song Stepping Out. That was another guy that was like hideous. I forget. That was you know, part of that genre. Yacht Rock? <laughs> not Yacht Rock, but it just not whatever that like contemporary. Adult contemporary. Yeah, adult contemporary, not, you know, new waves, zero cool. Easy music to music Easy listening. to yeah. music to watch the euthanasia fucking drugs <laughs> drip into your arm <laughs> while listening to. <laughs> oh fuck, Jeez. that's that good shit, man. Yeah. yeah, Joe, what the fuck is his name? I don't know. I don't know any fucking old white people music because all that shit that I listen to is just my family. My family like listen to Greek music. Who's just, like, like? What's like? What kind of Greek music? Like Greek rock? <clears throat> my my family like, didn't listen to that shit either. Really? I mean, yeah, I got into like yacht rock stuff when I was like. Uh, yeah, my parents still listen. My, like, what, did parents, what did your parents listen to? Like REM and Nirvana. And really? Fucking, yeah. My parents are what? smashing what? a little bit older. <laughs> what? Yeah. How old my are your parents, parents? Is like Bob Dylan and the Beatles. No. They yeah. listen to that shit. Yeah. Bob Dylan college and the rock like early nineties college rock. Yeah, that's strange. My dude. parents like like Paul Simon and the Beatles and. No, my parents, I don't, they like, I guess stayed, you know, my like aunt listens to like Pharrell and shit. She's like <laughs> really? 16 what? years old. Yeah. <laughs> my dad really <laughs> fucked with so that. fucking strange, <laughs> I dude. know, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's really weird. <laughs> yeah. My, my dad really <laughs> fucked with that uh, Santana uh, oh, hell Supernatural yes. album. Yeah. The one with, with Rob the, Thomas? With all the hits, yeah. My dad, my dad made me download uh, Duddy Rock for him. <laughs> Shonda Paul? Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Your dad fuck? liked Sean Paul? <laughs> yeah. That's he was sick. like, give me that album. <laughs> dude, I that love that so album. Good, dude. Yeah. Uh, just Give Me the Light was on that. Just Give Light Me the Light. Light Blue. Just oh, Light, Light Blue is a fucking banger, Light Blue dude. is a fucking banger, yeah. I My friend always does that at karaoke, and it's it's kind of racist. Mm. But, uh, it's, Why? Because he's doing... It's really Jimmy. hard. Mm. It's like, at first, you're like, well, it's a little bit all, racist, but then White second, people doing like, karaoke at all is racist, because it's, it's Japanese. It's a karaoke. It's... it's uh, karaoke. Karaoke. It's culturally appropriate for Unless you do, I'm white men to use uh, consumer electronics. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. <laughs> I won't even that's get why, near a microwave. That's why I got a Ford television. It runs on gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> got it's got carbon monoxide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <clears throat> oh, man. God damn, dude. Yeah, that's fucking hilarious, dude. Your dad, dad listens listen to Sean, Sean Paul. Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's so funny. Yo, there was a period where he had like... 11 number one hits in a row. Yeah. Yeah. And Shaggy, too. Shaggy was like and the Akon funny version as well. of of uh, Sean Paul. 
Didn't Akon give Africa like light bulbs or something? Yeah, yeah, I think so. He, gave he also just got Africa. Light well, bulb. you know why he's rich as fuck? Is he signed Lady Gaga? Lady Gaga. He got the, all that Lady Gaga paper. He, yeah, he gets a yeah, little Lady piece Gaga, of that. who's leading the charge in uh, in the petition to to have the electors, uh, you know, give Hillary the the presidency. Anyways, well, it's only right, dude. Yeah. Yo, what the fuck is that? Peti- like people think really. Well, that, they don't have to vote for Donald Trump. They could save America. They technically don't, but that... that but, like, what's somebody a petition going to do? There would be domestic terrorism if... For sure. There, there would be, would be militia be, just go, like, absolutely, like, it would, storming it would, be, it, would be guys, it would be, <laughs> like, fucking McVeigh-level bombings yeah. by right-wing extremists if they did that. Damn, that would be fucking... Because those are the guys that are just fucking waiting for an excuse. Right. Right. You know, I mean, what did what did the fucking the the Bundy shit happen over like a post office? I think that they yeah. wanted to like you know put Take down a calendar or something. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> they wanted to let their calendar. They wanted to get rid of the Garfield calendar in a post office. <laughs> oh, like, Not Oregon? my fucking. This is my country. <laughs> no, it was a land rights issue. Yeah, something. Yeah, there was like, but, but they took for... over. I know what it was, but it's <laughs> I, it's doing a He's bit doing a out joke. of them. You don't have to fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <it> was, <laughs> you fucking loser! Their cattle, beach ass. Adam you Friedland beach ass. is a beach ass motherfucker. motherfucker. This is why you are not allowed to come on the pirate missions. <laughs> <laughs> you must stay here and and get AIDS, <laughs> like the women. <laughs> stay here in the village. <laughs> oh, <fuck>. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a good bit, boys. Yeah. Uh, we were periscoping that guy in the car. <laughs> African guy? Yeah. <laughs> I do a pretty good one. Yeah? Oh, you're from Africa. Yeah. I always forget that you're African American. African American. Yeah. Now, wait, so. That's why you, I got into Harvard. Uh, so, <laughs> you could join the National African American Colored People Association. National Association. The National so you mean Af- the National NWACP. Yeah. That's the best thing anyone's Who ever said. Who said that? My friend Eric. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. That's the whole thing about the fucking... Yeah. Her what's w- her name? Rachel Transracial. Thing. Right, Rachel right, right. Dolezal. Derek. Could could you join the NAACP? There's this bitch. <laughs> okay. There's this bitch in Spokane. No, he's not a colored person. It's only for people of color. So it was smart that they named mm. it that, because that was a bit when I was growing up. There were people like, what, colored? And it's like, you know, it's smart. Now they're just, you know, people like Adam... Can't game the system. Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> like the United Negro College Fund. Mm-hmm. Again, you another smart choice. There. Ah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. It's not Africa. Nothing to do with Africa. Right. Smart. Yeah. The only African-American thing is the uh, uh, NCAA. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> yeah, or USAA. <laughs> You get USAA. <laughs> you get your car towed. I already got it. Ah, <clears throat> oh, fuck. What's up, dude? You tired? Uh, no, I'm just sick. It's fine. I'm sorry, buddy. You don't have to talk about it on the podcast. Yeah, well, we're tired because I've been at work since six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, and I uh, I work for a living, dude. And I made an omelet. I made a salad today. I'm trying to be healthy, boys. So I'm you trying getting to, back on the. I'm health trying to get kick, back buddy? on the health kick. I'm trying to, you know, summer seventeen. I'm out there. I'm sucking. I'm fucking, dude. That's what it is. Did you get laid I'm, in DC? Ah, I did, but what it was. Why are you exhaling like that? Good. That's it was cool like, right there. It was. It was a tough one, dude. Yeah, he's been what do you complaining mean a tough about one? this for like three days. I haven't been complaining. Adam brought it up. Just a girl that I wasn't that interested in was talking to me, and I was like, oh, I don't really want to, you know. Yeah. And then she was like, Hey, do you want to? Was she a com? A com- no, no, Was no, she no. in the scene or? She just saw the show. She was just at the show, and uh, she was just like, Hey, do you want to have sex with me? Yeah. So, so you say yes. And obviously. I was like, ah, All right. And then I did, and it wasn't that good, and you know, I didn't bring my A game, you know. It was tough. She had a nicer, she had a really nice apartment. Well, that's I felt nice. like I couldn't fuck it. Well, how I feel like I, bad? I feel like I didn't deserve to fuck in that apartment. Oh, because it was a nice apartment? It was too nice for me, dude. Did you have a telescope? 
Huh? Did you have a telescope? I love that. She had a skylight. That no always no classes telescope. The place up with telescope. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. Gonna, I'm gonna get a big ass telescope for my room. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Look at one. You have no windows. <laughs> Just to fill the room. Your windows. Kinds of telescopes. Glass Welcome the to joint. the Discovery Channel, bitch. <laughs> Bill, 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 <laughs> Bill Nye, the science guy. <laughs> Do you think Bill chants like that when he fucks? Bill hell yeah, yeah hell yeah. Bill, 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 shut up, bitch. Just, yeah, Bill, <laughs> Bill, Bill, inertia is a property of matter. Bill, Bill, Bill. <laughs> Ouch, Bill. Bill is not a good lover, dude. You Whatever. think Bill Nye fucks good for you? Know what, you know what show was so much better than Bill Nye's Science Guy show? What? Beekman's World, the the Brooklyn Bill Nye Science Guy. I remember guy. that. I don't remember oh, that. Holy shit, dude. There was another show that was basically Bill Nye's <laughs> yeah. Science Guy, but it was Beekman's World, and this guy, he was like a scientist. He's like, yeah, it's me, Beekman. <laughs> yeah, you want to learn something, you fucking <laughs> faggot? <laughs> it was low budget as fuck, too. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Was it PBS? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah it really? came on like right before Bill Nye the Science Guy. Yeah, Whoa. dude. Yeah, it was off brand. He had like a hot assistant. Yeah, he, Jax. He definitely fucked her. Yeah, Jax, the hot assistant. Who is Beekman? He was just some guy. Just some like Brooklyn scientist. <laughs> yeah. you know? just a guy. Yeah, I'm from Bay Ridge. I do experiments, <laughs> hey. mostly phrenology about the different races yeah. and shit yeah, like yeah. that. But you I know. got calipers. I'm in the union. <laughs> 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 the thing is, their heads. They ain't got a big enough brain, though. Yeah, you know? if, they, if they are too big, I'll cave the goddamn skull in <laughs> with my calipers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Beekman was tight, dude. I remember that shit. Yeah. I preferred Beekman. Beekman definitely fucks better than Bill Nye, for yeah. sure. Bill what? Nye probably Bill Nye's fuck good. like on the news all the time now. They're like, oh, yeah, now for a science expert, Bill Nye. And I was like, I thought he was for babies. Now I he's think for adults. He's just a fucking, he's got well, like he's a, just, he's, he's popular, got an engineering so degree. He's like, you know, he's like Neil deGrasse Tyson or who's that Japanese guy who always sits in that yeah, white yeah, room? Yeah, yeah. Hayosaki Huro, Huro, the, ha, Hurohima? Yeah, it's, it's Kurumasaki Toyota. <laughs> Kuro, <laughs> Suzuki Ruro. What's his name? Sushirito. Uh,. A Kamakaki Mahomato. Hiro. Hirohito Okamoto. Hiro. Do you guys ever fuck with Okamoto crowns? What's the guy's real name? I don't know what his name is. <laughs> uh, fucking uh, Dice, <laughs> Daisuke, uh, Daisuke Matsuzaka. Daisuke Matsuzaka. Yeah. <laughs> fuck it. Fuck it. Um, and Andrew Dice Clay, uh, Clay Young, Makazaka. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is there all a hurrah? Yeah, yeah. Hickory. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Hickory Dick. Dickory. <laughs> Hickory Dickory. No. Dick, no. 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 Oh, no. <laughs> not the crack. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> Hickley. <laughs> oh, don't do it. <laughs> oh, Hickley. Don't do it. <laughs> Hickley. Don't do it. There's absolutely no way that <laughs> Kumia hasn't already done Andrew Rice Clay. <laughs> Andrew Rice Clay. Yeah, there's no way he hasn't done it already. He's done every iterate. Have that you ever seen? Really have you ever good. seen Kumia do Andrew Dice Gay? Oh, it's one of the funniest uh, things uh, on it's earth. It's so funny. I suck this I fucking, suck cock. This fucking cock. <laughs> <laughs> It's yeah. really good fuck We should look that up I oh, wanna I watch it. that People forget that he's funny He's funny as shit Dice? You know? Cause he's racist No Kumia Kumia Oh Kumia's, Kumia's really funny dude Dice is a very funny ah, Dice, Dice is whatever I don't know man The Day Laughter Died is like my favorite comedy album of all time I mean, it's well, yeah, but that's like, f yeah, but it's irony. That's irony. I know. Yeah, that's irony. I know. I know. I know. But there's just and yes, Dice sucks. His and as like bad, a piece of art, it's incredibly it's fascinating. Dude. And like, yeah. I've listened to that more than I listen to any comedy album for sure. Well, there's another one, the Neil Hamburger one, the one Hot that February Night. That amazing. That's that one of the best things I've ever. That's really? incredible. Yeah, he's opening for Tenacious D at Madison Square Garden, uh -huh. and they said, "All right, like you do, like <laughs> you do, like thirty, and." Uh, Tenacious D's fans are just like rabid and they don't give a fuck about right, it. He's right. bombing from the first punch. No one line. knows who the fuck he is. No one knows who he is. He looks like a shitty comic. Yeah, he opens with, uh, What did Santa Claus get Paris Hilton for Christmas? <laughs> and people are like, Boo! <laughs> and, it's like, and then he's like, He raped her. <laughs> 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 well, he raped her. Yeah, and then and then he just so he's getting booed by I'd say ninety percent of the stadium. Ten percent of the stadium is maybe behind That's it. That's awesome. Slash confused. Right, right, right. And 
But like bombing for a sports stadium. That's, yeah, that's, that's real some, bombing. That's real bombing. Yeah. And the fact that he could just stay out there and then he kept faking out the audience. He's like, give it up for the reason you're all here tonight. And then he like builds it up and he'd be like, tenacious D's curtain. Tenacious D's curtain. You know, <laughs> yeah. people are just like, like we want the D. And yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Throwing things at us. I got, I got, booed, I got booed at Caroline's a uh, week and a half ago. Really? At New York's Funniest? No, no. At another show, I was just doing a Caroline's because I was like, uh, there's some like, uh, you know, I was asking people. I, I just looked at the audience. There was a woman there. I'm like, who are you voting for? And I was like, Hillary, probably, right? And uh, she was like, no. And they were like, why would you assume that? I'm like, I don't know, because she's a woman. Right. And then people are like, boo. Really? Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck do you mean, boo? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't get to boo me. <laughs> and she's voting for Trump. I mean, that's a surprise. Why would you assume she was voting right, for right. Trump? Well, In New York? Was it a Trump cr- I mean, it was probably fucking tourists and shit. Yeah, I guess it was a Trump Caroline's crowd. Caroline's all fucking... But then it, here's the other thing, though. If it's a Trump crowd, they're not allowed to be offended. Right. I hate that shit, dude. Yeah. That's the same shit that happened at, at Comics Come Home. Did, that, uh, oh, dude, that funny. Dude. That was so funny. Like people were tweeting at Nick DePaul. So at, at Comics Come Home last week, Wanda Sykes went up. It's his she, big. It's his big benefit. Going, she started going off about how much she hates Donald Trump, and the crowd starts. Nick booing DePaul her. is a Republican, though. Nick right? DePaul goes up after her, and then starts going the other direction. <laughs> yeah, he's like, and he's I like, voted for Trump. Yeah, he's like, I voted for Trump. All these fag. You know, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know suck, what he said. Yeah, yeah, and he that. called, dude. He called some woman a Jew. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> 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 he just pointed her out and called her a fucking yeah. Jew. You can oh, imagine man. what what Nick DiPaolo said, yeah. And uh, and then so on Twitter, people are like tweeting at at Nick like, uh, "You did great, Wanda fucking sucked or whatever." And, yeah, like, yeah, saying, yeah. and he's retweeting it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then and then so like. Uh, at a certain point, uh, someone was like, you fucking suck, dude. You're not welcome in Boston. This is like a liberal city. And he's like, you fucking bombed. And Nick DiPaolo responds to it. And this this tweet that said that to him had like one fade. Yeah. <laughs> no one saw it. And then Nick DiPaolo responds to it. He's like, yeah, and how did fucking Wanda do, huh? <laughs> <laughs> like, just throwing her under the bus for yeah. no reason. Not just responding, but I think he quote tweeted it too. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. responded to Damn. it. <laughs> but that's so... Bus. It's he's, so funny. He's real funny, dude. He's funny yeah. as shit. Mm-hmm. But the idea yeah. that you would have Wanda Sykes followed by Nick DiPaolo the week yeah, that Trump wins that? is like the funniest combination who's doing on that? Yeah. Whoa. Just a black lesbian. A black lesbian. By and then a the most outspoken. Does Italian not give a fuck. Libertarian Republican. asshole. Not even libertarian. Republican. Republican. Yeah. Conservative Republican. Is he, he's not like Christian conservative, is he? No, he's no, like, I not. No, I don't know. Really Wanda Republican. Sykes was from Boston. She is? I thought she's from I D.C. She she's from D.C. Yeah. I don't know. She she's like D.C. scene. I don't know, man. Everyone claims everybody. I don't know where she's from. That's true. Yeah, D.C. tries to claim Lewis Black sometimes. Well, he, he was born Oswald. there. Yeah. Yeah. He went to high school in Silver Spring. Yeah, so oh, really? At the same time as Goldie Hawn, Sylvester Stallone, and Ben Stein. That's true. That's a power quad- quadruplet. Yeah. They all, they you all think went to Ben the same Stein high ever fucked Goldie Hawn? Uh, yeah, probably. What about Sly? You know, I, I didn't know that Sly, the reason he talks like that... Because he was paralyzed. Bell's yeah, palsy his face. And birth. calipers. Yeah. They were trying to measure his skull <laughs> to see uh, see what race he was. <laughs> because his family was Italian, and you could never be sure with them. Right, right, yeah, right. right. How much sure. more blood is in their system? Yeah, yeah I thought that the mom was lying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I seen too many fucking Moulinans <laughs> coming in and out of here. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about this, Deborah. Hey, the yeah. kid's strong as hell. <laughs> My wife is smelling. <laughs> Like a peanut grease. You <laughs> <laughs> smell like a peanut oil. Why are the doorknobs are slippery? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. fuck. Damn, we did talk about Sly in high school already. No, we I, didn't. Did I we? think we did. It came up. Sly in high school? I think so. When? I feel like we did. I wanted. I mean, I wanted to... Th- what do you think Sly Stallone was like in high school? Beautiful, right? Fucked uh, a lot? I don't know. All I know is that he slept in the Port Authority bus station and then did a softcore porn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he wrote Rocky in what he says, uh, 12 hours. Yeah. <laughs> or, no, he said, I think he says, like, 
he wrote in three days, no sleep. <laughs> just sit there, type machine. Yeah, it shows. Three days. <laughs> Rocky One's a good movie. It's a good movie. I mean, I don't know how good it is as a screenplay. Right. Yeah. The, yeah. The, well, it did the, win best screenplay that year. Yeah. So he's gonna fall in love with the retarded girl. Yeah. You know what? I mean, I don't. I probably mentioned it on on the podcast before, but one of my favorite things about Rocky in the beginning of the movie when he's like dealing with the the mob guys that he's an enforcer yeah, for. Yeah. They're trying to get him to hand the money he owes, you know, from his collection run over and like the two other enforcers are in a car and they're like, uh, hey, Rock, why don't you bring that girl to the, you like to the zoo? And he's like, you yeah, was that? And uh, he goes, because uh, I hear retards love the zoo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, you piece of shit. I love it. He starts chasing after the car. They speed off. <laughs> Rocky three. Rocky gets brain damage. You know, and yeah. Adrian brings him to the zoo. Oh, and it, what? Yeah, in the end of the movie, Whoa. he's like, you know, oh, we love the zoo. And I don't know if they knew that That's or not. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah. You also did a good slide with the L. The love. The, the way. You- yeah, I love the zoo. I love the zoo. <laughs> you know, when, I, when he was a little baby, he used to fit in my hand. <laughs> That's the speech from... Uh, yeah, I used to totally tell this little baby going to grow up from one day. Creed? Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Every, everybody I saw. Shit, dude. Told that was me, probably you know the last I mean? good movie he made ever. Creed was so goddamn <laughs> it good. Was so good. Creed's good, but he's not playing Rocky in that fucking movie. That's what a different mean? character. Rocky's not that smart or insightful. No, no, Rocky's, life, Rocky's dumb a dumbass. fucking. Hey, a life full of fucking yeah, but wisdom, he's had a life. He's got brain damage. He would have been working since at that point. He's been he working got, in an uh, Italian restaurant cancer. and learning lessons. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. He's wise. You know? After Tommy Gunn, he learned a lot. He went to community Dude, my college. My pecs were just straight up flexed for like 48 hours. I was just ready to fight. <clears throat> Dude, I wanted a fucking just Jordan sweatsuit. I was going to oh, start jogging. So cool. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yeah. yeah, I remember when you saw that movie, you immediately texted me and told me you're getting a Jordan sweatsuit. Because <laughs> yeah. that's the first step in losing weight. It's true. Dude, buying, if I don't have the buying, gear, buying, how the fuck am I going to do it? Buying clothes with equipment. elastic uh, <laughs> <laughs> elastic bands. You need Dude, the Jordan sweatsuit. Clothing. You need the 12 o'clock boys. I need the 12 like, o'clock Boys running, to riding around, right? Dude. Doing wheelies, doing wheelies all around while you. I run. As you, re- <laughs> you can't work out if you don't have them. absolutely, yeah, not, yeah. dude. Fuck! Uh, I literally for three days after I watched that movie just fucking ate nothing but vegetables and like <laughs> <laughs> fucking did push-ups really and shit. Turn this thing around, and yeah. then I don't know what happened, but you know I got a little derailed. But I'm getting back in there. Yeah. Now there's really no point in trying to better your life. You don't think so? Nah. Okay, I'll stop. No, I mean I saw those celebrities today on that on that job. How they yeah, John Travolta? I mean, I I don't know if I can say. I guess I guess whatever. Fucking yeah, Emma Watson was there. <laughs> Emma Watson. Yeah, Emma Watson. Oh, was it Beauty and the Beast? But, yeah, I guess. Uh, Harry Potter. Oh, there goes that India. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the worst case scenario, they just don't ever fucking hire me again. Um, I said know, it, you didn't say it. Yeah, but they didn't hire me knowing that I'm a host of like the world's most successful podcast. Yeah, they, they wouldn't have. They would have let you. Yeah. That's how we get juicy bits, dude. Because yeah. you know, that, I like the level of fame we're at because we do have the world's most successful podcast. It's true, but no one knows what we look like. Mm-hmm. You know, I could just walk around. My point is, unmolested. I'm not envious of those people. You know, of what c- celebrities? Yeah, their life is just a little bit more comfortable. You know, they I still think have it's to a work nice amount more shit. No, they get their own green room and you know a special meal or whatever. Dude, their fucking days off are so much better. Like them just blowing off a day. Why? How is it they better get to than do mine? Rich people shit, dude. My day off is I fucking maybe I do some cocaine. I they get better the cocaine. Floor. They have couch, nice couches instead of floors. I don't know. I don't think I don't think their lives are really all that much better. They get to go on pedophile fuck. Jets. I think I think it's it's you know you make enough money right? to be comfortable. <laughs> yeah, you make enough money to be comfortable, and then there's like a huge gap, and then there is pedophile you know secret fuck planes. Right, mm-hmm. and the guys that like make their own space programs. <laughs> right, right, right. If you right, have right. enough money, they're like, yeah, I'm gonna go to the moon, and I'm gonna build <laughs> a house there, and then, like maybe. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. But if you're just like a mid level, like what's her net worth? It's gotta be what Emma Watson, dude. Yeah. A fucking, are you kidding me? Shit ton. Like, do those Harry Potter movies? Harry Three or Potter, four million dude. dollars. Yeah. <laughs> She's fucking rich as hell, dude. She can buy a little island. Yeah. Well, her life is so much better than yours. It's not even close. Nah, I disagree. <laughs> That's fucking. You're wearing a Tony Hawk shirt with holes pretty, under both armpits. I've had this shirt for literally, probably twenty two years. <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. <laughs> she doesn't. She, she doesn't have anything for over like six months. Yeah. Does she, she look good? Yeah, she looks good. Yeah, of course. That's dude. the other thing too. When you meet celebrities, is like. 
You you see them and you're like, oh, that's where you're famous. Yeah, right. Really you, know, you just you, there's nothing like fucked up about you and, and up close. They're perfect. Yeah. yeah, you think like you know, oh well, that's all makeup or whatever. Uh-huh. But no, their like faces are symmetrically perfect. Yeah, right. they don't have any weird ticks. Right. You know, yeah, yeah. they don't speak weird or yeah. fucking. You know, and on top of that, they have to like not have fucked up personal lives. You what know do you mean? what? Like Emma Watson couldn't have a podcast called Come Down. No. You know, yeah, you're I can. right. You are better than Emma Watson. I am. Yeah. You're better. No, you're right. I agree. Emma Watson also couldn't have a 22 year old shirt and like just not bathe for a week or change your clothes or <laughs> you're making luxuries solid ass points. To, yeah. <laughs> yeah, these are better things that you get to do. That's the way I see it. <laughs> I don't care what some fucking British piece of shit has to say about it. Apparently, she had to drop out of college because. Every time she like she was at Brown, and every time she like answer a question, people would be like, five points of Gryffindor." <laughs> That's a good bit. Yeah, I, I respect that. Well, I don't no, even know what the fuck really that annoying. means. Apparently, it was really annoying, and she had to drop out of school. Cause it was, uh, did you see that? Uh, so, there, like, that was like the thing this week is uh, yeah, every Harry Potter pussy they, saying, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah it's like Harry, Potter. Harry Potter. Well, yeah, there was plenty of people doing that, but there was one girl that everybody found. There was like one girl that like exemplified those the, t- tweets where she's like, "Hufflepuff, we need you to be yeah, whatever." That shit and was the like, gayest uh, thing I've ever seen in my life. We That's, need you to, you know, that was very funny. Yeah, Jill and Hall, we need you to fuck your sister. Yeah, and then, but then somebody found. And another tweet that that lady did that was like, ah, this reminds me of in the Care Bears movie when the cousins call and say we can all help. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that is literally a movie for babies. That's like That's for like babies young that adult don't know anymore. how to speak. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's for babies. <laughs> <laughs> it's, her, it's all it's of for, because of colors. Yeah. And yeah, like, she's <laughs> like, oh, as soon as Donald was elected, I had to get my teething ring yeah. and re- flip through my books that are uh, made so that they float in the bathtub. <laughs> Hillary oh Clinton God. is basically yeah. Barney. I sat down in my play school desk with the little wheels on the bottom <laughs> and I piddled around the living room. <laughs> uh, I would love one of those, honestly. Yeah. Those bouncy shits where the babies fucking go, they can't walk yet. But yeah. they just well, you have the down. physics of a baby. That's what I'm saying, dude. Yeah. Give me a big ass you got version baby of that. proportions. The bouncy thing looks fun. I'm like a big sexy baby, dude. That's yeah. kind of my brand. Sexy ass baby. Yeah. You have like, the circumference of your head is probably like 36 inches. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Six. Do you wear fitteds? Can you wear fitteds? I can wear the upper limit of fitteds. Yeah, some of the bigger to, fitteds. He tried to put my hat on one time, and he looked like a you know like a Popeye character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I got I got my snapbacks got to go all the way the fuck up. You got to go to the one snap, the one snap, maybe two if I'm feeling fucking. Now, how much of that is fat though? I don't think much, dude. I have a big ass head. You just have a big head. Yeah, like my fucking. I'm feeling Do it. Do you right think now. that's the reason you're fat? Yeah, I mean, I would like to lose weight, but I can't because my head would look weird. <laughs> yeah, it would make your head I want to eat yeah, salads. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to have fried chicken for breakfast three days in a yeah. row, but... Your body was like, oh, we got to do something about this head. Yeah. <laughs> and proportions. I do got a big ass head, though. I lost a little weight in college and my head looked hilarious. Okay, so we have to have like some kind of bit this week. So let's say... That there are famous celebrity executions. Mm-hmm. Okay. Who would you like to see killed? How and and how would it go down? Who do I like to see killed? Mm. Yeah. So you know, I'm saying like you know we're gonna ease into it. America's okay. gonna have to get to this point, but probably in like five six months, we're gonna see you know Trevor Noah shot, you know executed. Uh huh. Uh, Lena Dunham for sure. Oh yeah, that's gonna. But they're gonna one. save that one. You know, that's like the main event. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, oh, fuck. How would they? How would they die? Would Lena Dunham die just like in a? I was saying fed fed to rats. I think that would be cool <laughs> if they have a big rat pit in the White House and they just very hungry rats. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, he tricks. He's like Lena. I would love it if you would come over. For we're gonna have a great dinner. It's gonna be a fantastic dinner. And then he fattens her up. And then he's, uh, she's his, she handsling Gretel's well, her. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's a long dinner table. And she's on one end. They keep bringing her food, but there's a hole that leads to the rat pit underneath her chair, and the chair is placed on saran wrap. So as Lena continues to uh-huh. eat, eventually the chair tears Smart. through. Smart down to the rat pit. Yeah, yeah. that's it's really broadcast good. on Fox as a primetime special. <laughs> you get to see the rats eat her. That's cool. Yeah, and guess who's watching? <clears throat> that's right, John Glenn, American hero. <laughs> He's in the audience today. Let's go to John. John, it's been 
60 years since you were the first man to use the N-word in orbit. <laughs> now, how do you feel about this? How do you feel about watching this woman be eaten by rats? Or like, you know how the, the Celestials in, Dead, in Deadwood yeah. they feed people to pigs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like that kind of thing. I like like medieval is torture Celestial, devices. Is that a... a early slur I think they made it up for Deadwood half the shit in yeah. Deadwood is made up they didn't, oh really yeah because no? the, the way the language in Deadwood that's I'm watching why, it right now oh Moonies oh because they have like yeah. a lunar calendar Lunars yeah, yeah. that makes mm. sense but I've the, never seen the, the way moons. they talk in Deadwood that's not historically <laughs> accurate no, no, it's not. They made it up for the show, and that's why the show's so good. It's so it's well, so written. cool. But you know, it's not a particularly good show. I disagree. <laughs> I think I think the dialogue's great. Have you gotten to the episode yet? The two episodes where Swearingen's not in it. I just got. I just passed that. Yeah, yeah. Those episodes. The beginning of season suck. two. Those episodes. But the suck. two episodes immediately preceding those are incredible. Is that where Dan gets into the fight with Silas? No, it's where Swear Engine gets in the fight with uh, fucking Bullock. Yeah. Yeah. And, but it's like they get uh, in. If you're the not whole- familiar with the show, Sandra Bullock is. Uh, yeah. She plays. The, so Deadwood is a bit of a show about a wagon that can't go less than five miles per hour. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll explode. <laughs> or they lose yeah. all their slaves. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, fuck. It's really Lin, okay. Good. What, what, what about these executions? I think yeah. Lin Manuel's got to go. Oh yeah, Lin Manuel's going for sure. Yeah, but and those he's going to be thrown obvious. into a burning dumpster by uh, <laughs> Immortal Technique. That's how that was he dies. so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> he got bullied by a cool ass fucking a dude. cool rapper. A cool yeah. rapper. I don't think Immortal Technique's cool, but okay. he's cooler than Lin Manuel. Cool Lin- Lin- yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. You're right. He's corny. He's like he's the mean version shit. of Lin Manuel. Yeah. Right, right, right. They're like two different sides of the same world. right 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 uh of woke rap so um, lin-manuel's gotta go um hmm. i think chris collinsworth the football announcer <laughs> yeah, yeah. not only I'd football announcer the uh, uh former host of the uh guinness world records tv no, show was really? it? yeah they chris collinsworth hosted them. i would what? love to see yeah. him he hosted a non-sports thing yeah that's awesome i'd love to see rats just eat chris collinsworth uh alive yeah. No, he, he can't go you can't rats. Go, you can't go all rats. He, oh, he no, no. Get, I thought it was get, rats was the format. No, he rats would get his reserved for Lena. He gets his head kicked off like a football. We should have kickers kick him in the head. I just wanted him to feel off. like a fucking idiot before he dies, to know that he's. everyone thinks he's such a fucking idiot. No? That sucks. Um, what, do you, what do you do? Wait, what, did he say something? Did I miss anything Chris Collins wrote? No, it just sucks, dude. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just oh, him. just people who we think suck? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Uh, how about this? Uh, uh, Terry Bradshaw catches. <laughs> they, they set Chris Collinsworth up. Let's go. Chris Collinsworth fucks Terry Bradshaw's daughter. <laughs> oh. and Terry Bradshaw comes in and, and gets then, mad. Yeah, he gets mad and kills him. I oh, like that. That'd be fun. Um, um, who else do we want to see die? Just uh oh oh Rosie is for sure Rosie being O'Donnell. Murdered. She's a client. She's dude. Rosie O'Donnell's gonna start the resistance. <laughs> it's yeah, just yeah. like she has an underground yeah. bunker. Here's what we're gonna do, Rosie. Here's what we're gonna do, Rosie. She came up like we're gonna uh, put you in a bathtub and we're gonna hold you face down in a bunch of Nickelodeon gack until the bubbles <laughs> stop coming up. We're gonna hear nothing but queefing noises until you're completely exhausted from this world. Okay. Rosie, that's your choice. She's I think really, really returned to prominence. Like she was, I I didn't think about when? her for twenty years until this when? election cycle. Oh, this election? Yeah, nah, she hasn't done shit since. She how about they? How shit. about they do this? They sew Rosie O'Donnell's mouth onto uh, Michael Moore's stomach, <laughs> so she can only breathe through her nose. And as Michael Moore gets fatter, eventually the pathway to her nose is sealed by his weight. And then he, it's like it's like human centipede, except Michael Moore has complete control over it <laughs> and could save her life, but chooses not to because he's addicted to Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> Rosie, I'm sorry about this. I know, I know, this is wrong. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, I just have to have one more slice of cheesecake. 
we have. I'm, str- I'm, I'm gonna str- start tomorrow. <laughs> I'm pro. I'm pro double M, dude. I'm pro Mike Michael Moore. Moore. Michael yeah. Moore. He was right. He got the election he right. Was right. He got the election right. And you know what? I I like. He really does. I liked a lot like of his the, documentaries. Like a talking decomposing jackal. He's disgusting. <laughs> well, he looks like a woman. <laughs> He's no. got no. that weird. He looks like a weird neck his pussy. hair hangs out of his hat, and they look like dog ears. He yeah. Looks, yeah. Uh, he looks like he an looks extra from all dogs go to heaven. Yeah. Like some dog that's down on its luck. That's like Charlie. Please stop Trump. <laughs> there was a mom. There was a mom some on my fat baseball team. Bulldog. One of the moms on my baseball team one year looked exactly like my on mom. your baseball team. My, my, yeah. one of the kids. Uh, Adam played mom league baseball. I played mom league baseball. <laughs> it was a league of their own. It was me, Rosie, the, my, the Michael Moore mom. A league of their own is a good ass movie, dude. Yeah, it's, and it's dope. a league of getting owned, and it's Adam <laughs> and Seth Cockfield, <laughs> Seth Dickfield. I'm, Who's that guy? Who's that other guy? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking about doing a new character named Barf Seth Touch. That way, it's like different enough that okay. uh, you know, Barf. You can, yeah, you can't. Bar, yeah, Barf Seth Touch. Okay, you just shifted enough that uh, you know you can't. You yeah, know, you can't reasonably say I'm making fun of Seth. Well, that's Cop. not a character. Well, you You're talking about a new it. guy you just met. <laughs> yeah, I'm, Barf uh, Seth Touch. Well, I'll forget about it, and we'll bring it back later. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I still can't believe that barista thing. I'm telling this white lady, y- it's going to be fascism, and she's just rolling her eyes. And I'm there, and I've got <laughs> crumbs all over my shirt. My pants have fallen down. Everyone can see my ass. <laughs> and then I look over at the Indian woman who also works there, who I know is Indian somehow, by the way. There's no way she's any other ethnicity or nationality. South Asian. She's got to be Indian. And me and her, we're looking at each other, and we just know... You know, that's what I love is that all these stories always involve him, like, sharing a look with someone that he thinks he's relating to. <laughs> right, right, but right. But he's right. the least self-aware person in the it. world. So yeah. he, and he does, has no idea that people fucking hate him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the stories never involve anyone agreeing with them. There's always there just, was a black and I was a, Yeah, there was a black guy in the corner, and I'm sure he felt the same way uh-huh. I do. There was a black woman sighing loudly, <laughs> clearly at the barista. Yeah, <laughs> she yeah she was she was eating hot fire Cheetos in my ear, and I, that's a sign of respect in our community. I heard it. She was probably thinking, mm-hmm, "You yeah, go, boy." Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I boy! Knew, I knew she respected me. <laughs> I could I could sense it. I have a sixth sense for women of color. <laughs> well, uh, the food's here, so. So that's going to be the end of the episode, and you guys... Wait, 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 wait. Don't we have a live show? The 28th of this month, November, the Monday after Thanksgiving, I come on, everybody. We're having a live show. That's Hope. the name of the bar. The come on, everybody. Bar. It's on it's, Franklin uh, and Bro- Franklin Ave in Brooklyn. The show sells out every time, so I don't even think we need to plug it, but... We should uh, plug it, get more people out, It doesn't matter, out. you know, I mean, it's going to sell out anyway. Please come. Adam's friends buy tickets <laughs> six weeks in advance. He has a very not supportive true. friend group. That, Nick is making this um, up. It's not true. Please come to the show. Please come to please. the show, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So just don't bother coming. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Shut up, you bitch All right. Uh, see you later. All right, bye.